Münster, the most Dutch German city I have ever visited. One hour away from the Netherlands, it is well known for the amount of bikes, long shopping hallways, a seemingly out of place Pablo Picasso museum, and a high number of small dogs that I will keep track of. I'm back making videos. <laughs> <laughs> it is a wonderful sunny day today. You know how they say that people are much happier when the sun is out? Well, gosh darn it, they're correct, because I feel like my seasonal depression is over. All my problems melted away. Except for the ones that didn't. Uh, it looks like stoppy. I want this dog. From the train station, we were walking into the direction of the city, passing by many, many bikes. Big stone. Or a shield? It looks like a shield. We found our first landmark, the Green Tower. We can't go in. And among many more cute houses... Come over here. What is that? We located a church. It looked like your typical European Gothic church. Crispy burnt on the outside. There's a door. Yeah. People are going in. And elegantly rich on the inside. That's pretty. What the freak? Stay away to heaven. Oh, you look so sexy. Yeah. As our souls were cleansed, we went further and we saw a merchant. It's a nice area. Amongst restaurants. Oh, money. Even though I was following Google Maps, I got distracted. But I found this church. This is why I went off track. <laughs> and this little city made of metal. Look at that! To the market. The banging of the bells actually led us to a market. But this is not just any market. This market just kept going and going and going. It was much bigger than at first glance. They sold so many plants and flowers, a lot of cheese, a couple of Dutch things, asparagus. Look at this asparagus! And they had one of the longest lines I've seen to buy a couple of fries. It's the line. Yeah. How good do these potatoes have to be? But they must be doing something right. Looking and smelling all this food got us also hungry. Even though there were many great options at the market, I wanted to take a break and sit somewhere. Pain and gâteau. Doesn't sound too appetizing, but I'll give it a try. They're rated F, which apparently is a good thing. Oh. The place looks charming, with mostly older demographic. There's two of them. They had the most unique looking pudding pretzel I've seen in my life. Look what they have. This is so special. I was very tempted, but this is not what I came here for, since mostly they sell quiches. We got ourselves a salty quiche and a sweet quiche, but some people prefer calling it apple pie. I also got myself a cup of cappuccino since I need some juice. Everything tasted great, but the apple pie was fabulous. Very apple-y, very sweet. Overall, a good experience. It's great. We quickly went to the supermarket to buy a couple of drinks. Is that a pink sauce? Hello Taste. You should collab with them. Oh, now I get it because it's Hello Taste. Because my channel is Hello Erica. Yeah, good oh, job. Okay. Another dog. I wanted to take a look at the Münster Castle. But in order to get there quickly, we need to go through the Münster University. We have to go straight. If you're planning on studying, living or visiting Germany, maybe consider today's sponsor Lingoda. Lingoda is an online language school that offers classes 24-7. So no matter where you are, you can find classes that best fit your needs. They are well known for their sprints, where the students are challenged to consistently take classes for two months straight. And if they successfully complete all the classes, they get 100% of their money back. But for a less intense version, you can take classes every other day and get 50% of your money back. Lingoda offers the study material and classes consisting of either three people or one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. In my experience, the first class was pretty nerve-wracking. I didn't know how it's gonna go and what's gonna happen, but I was worried about nothing because it all went pretty smoothly. The main goal of these classes is to speak as much as possible, so you get comfortable with the language. And the teacher is there to guide the material and correct the mistakes you make or answer the questions you might have. I feel like practicing speaking is one of the most important parts since that's how you communicate with each other. And I feel like these classes really help you open up with that. So if you'd like to try, click the link below in the description and use my code. And thank you so much Lingoda again for the sponsor. Back to Münster. In no time, we are here. Look at that. 
the Münster Castle. I should add some trumpets in here. <laughs> Not only is it incredible, stunning, breathtaking, but on Google Maps it also has a little star-shaped water thing around the backyard of the castle, which looks pretty cool. Apparently now this castle is part of University of Münster, specifically the Department of Biology. <laughs> Hungry? Follow me. <laughs> Nonetheless, today they also have a teddy bear hospital event where I assume you can bring your teddy bear that has been injured and they fix him up for you. Since I didn't have a teddy bear, I just went further to see the garden, the backyard of the palace. We had no idea where to go. We also don't know if the entrance is free or not. So I guess we followed the little track. Very nice to walk. Yeah. This odd looking path led us to a nicer looking one. And there's more path. We found ourselves walking around the fence. And if you look what's behind the fence, now that looks interesting. Everything has a little tag. A little price tag. <laughs> After making a whole circle around the park, we finally found the entrance. Oh, damn. Which is hopefully still free. It was open all this time. Oh. There were many, oh so many interesting things. Bug number one. Like flowers and plants. Bug number two. If you like flowers and plants. Each plant had a short little description about themselves. Oh, it is salmon prints. Like two truths and one lie, but w without the lie part. So there are many tags to look at. Um, look how many tags. Yeah. Beautiful flowers and not so beautiful flowers. Bug number three. A diverse selection of mints, tulips. They had water. <laughs> <laughs> bees. I like the DNA thing. And this hole. And then you have to hum strong in a low tone. Mm. What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Some more demanding plants lived in houses. Oh, greenhouse. Whoa, what the freak? <gasps> wow. This sounds like someone is peeing. Do you think there's crocodiles in here? Yep. There were many fruits and veggies and tomatoes. Isn't it paprika? Oh, yeah, my bad. And cotton. Cotton? Oh, that is cotton. It makes oh, wow. L-sized t-shirts. <laughs> Churches. You love them or you hate them. But we found another one. It was open, so we must go in. After that, we followed the shopping mall tunnel that had many fancy stores that are definitely out of my budget. Dog! At the end, we stumbled upon a shopping mall. It looked quite nice, but there were around five stores inside. One of them was a game store, and another store was a toy store. It's a Stitch Elvis! <laughs> or Baby Stitch Pineapple. Peanut butter plushie! Julian, look! Ah. We didn't go to the Pablo Picasso Museum, but we did go to the Pablo Picasso restaurant. Wait, so Pablo is a cafe? We didn't feel like looking at art, but we did feel like eating art. Feeling a bit peckish, we went inside and sat down to order ourselves a little meal. Maybe you want to get one cooked egg? Ooh. Look at the That's presentation. Like That's good. Münster has many museums. The lacquerware museum, the Bible museum, but I decided that I wanted to visit the city museum, which conveniently is free of charge. The museum is very well made and it tells the story, the history, the history of the city. And here are many interesting things throughout the centuries and decades and months. Look at that, men being men. Most of the descriptions are in German, but you can find some English stuff too. Oh, is that a phone? Hello? But if you don't, it's I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. It is actually, you're actually listening. And the most exciting part is the little miniatures that tell you the story of the city and how it was built throughout the times. 1533. You see it thrive and grow and expand. You see the Münster castle that has a star around it. They removed all of the walls. Just place trees. The star looks super epic. It was just fine. So much. And then the war happens. No, that's sad. You might ask, wait, what happens next? Well, it looks good. They rebuilt it. They did a good job. So there's a happy ending after all. Our train is coming in 30 minutes, so we need to kill some time. And what better to do than to shop for some sunglasses? 
<laughs> looks like neon from the Matrix. Looking good. Before we leave here, are all the small dogs we saw in Münster today that I haven't shown before. Today was a wonderful day to explore Münster. This is the type of city that people study in and they stay because they like it so much. Apparently. Which I can understand, it's not too big, not too small, there's stuff to do, and biking everywhere is pretty fun. Oh, don't film it. It's pooping. 